Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Goodness, sound like a motorcycle. We're about a block from the highway over in that direction. Sometimes we get some loud vehicles. Uh, anyway, um, this is going to be the unboxing of the next full build on the channel. Um, I've got the GMC is going to be done soon. I want to keep the momentum rolling. Um, I don't want to start skipping days and before you know it I might start skipping weeks. I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to finish the GMC and finish the Mini Art uh, LGOC armored truck that I started before Jim passed away and all this got started. And then I'm going to be building this on the channel. Okay. This is the Thunder model, British Scammel Pioneer. Okay, it's kit number. I just saw it a second ago. 35207. Okay, so uh, let's go down to the bench and I'll uh, show you what's in this box. I was impressed. I really was. Got a few little sink issues I saw, but um, overall it looks really, really nice. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Thank you. Okay, uh, this is going to be a review of the Thunder model uh, 135th scale British Scammel Pioneer. It's the TRMU-30 and TRCU-30 tank transporter, 30 ton late gooseneck. Basically, this is two kits in one. Uh, it actually comes with two sets of instructions. A few of the sprues are common to both the trailer and the truck, mainly tires and wheels. But um, I've, I've divided the sprues up for each kit so we can look at them separately. Okay, this is uh, 35207, if I didn't say that. I love that box art, that's really nice. This will be my very first Thunder model kit. So, here's a little bit about it. You can pause it and read it if you'd like. Uh, apparently there's a book that they're promoting by Capricorn Publications. Looks really interesting, a uh, photo book. Okay, um, just a little basic information about the kit. Uh, 630 plus plastic parts. Sprues A, B, C, D, 2 E sprues, F, G, 2 H sprues. Um, K, L, M, and Z, and those, some of them were the trailer, some of them were the, were the, uh, Pioneer. Uh, slide molded detail, faithfully reproduced, and highly detailed chassis, winch and trailer, accurately molded engine, cab, and full interior, plastic tires, doors and windows can be assembled, closed, and open, fully workable suspension, PE detail sheets, uh, scale chain and ropes and three decal options Glue and paint is not included Okay, and this end is basically the same And for a change uh, This kit has stuff on the back of the box too. So here's the book that they were promoting on the side <clears throat> I don't think this kit has ever been released of the German locomotive. I would love to build that but I haven't seen it anywhere. Um, the US Crawler 60, that looks like a real nice kit. And here's a uh, Ward La France Wrecker M1A1. And the Morris uh, C9B Bofors gun truck. Um, you'll be seeing one of these on the channel eventually. And a Russian uh, bulldozer. Not even sure. Stanlinets, something like that. Okay, uh, I've already taken the sprues out. There were so many of them, I wanted to kind of get them organized before I get started. So, uh, this is a side opening box. And the lid comes open this way. But I've got everything out of it already. It's a really nice box. Okay. 
let's go through the uh, scammel itself first. They give us a sheet um, with the, the uh, colors. And they got everything in uh, MIG, which I'll be converting probably to Mr. Color. This one is a unknown unit in North Africa, 1942. Let's bring this down a little bit now that we got the box out of the way. And this is uh, unknown unit France, 1944, and First Armored Division, North Africa, 1942. I'm not sure just exactly what's, you know, what we've got going on here. If this trailer is for this. I'm guessing it is. Um, the box art shows, you know, this color. And I'll probably be, I'm thinking about painting it in the desert sand, desert tan. Um, I've seen some other uh, paint schemes that look really interesting. They don't include it on this sheet, but they've had an earlier uh, kit that was, I think this is a 2019 release. But they had one that was about four or five years older and they included a whole bunch more paint schemes uh, in that kit. And I've downloaded it from uh, Scalemates and I'm kind of looking at that. I might not even do a scheme that they provide with this kit. I'll have to see how it all works out. But there's a couple of really interesting uh, color schemes on that other sheet. Basically the same kit. Uh, just an updated version. I think the decals are all the same. Okay, let's take a look here. Sorry, my chair likes to squeak. Okay, uh, this is for kit 35200, 204, 206, and 207, which we have the 207 version. The one I was referring to earlier, I think, is the original uh, 35200 kit. Okay, um, there's your legend of all the different uh, symbols and stuff that they use. Okay, and uh, we get right into the engine. Let's see if we can bring this down just a little bit more. I'm trying to make it to where you guys can see it pretty well. The instructions look really nice. They're black and white, you know, or gray, gray scale. And they do have some color callouts uh, in different places. Um, I was trying to see. Yeah, here's some here's some color callouts here. Uh, I'll have to study those a little bit. But basically, it's funny because this says step one, and then all of this clear to here is step one. And it's building the engine. So I would divide this up into a bunch of steps. And then we go to step two, and that's the front suspension. Uh, three is the hitch on the front. It had a hitch with a pencil hook, the big spring on the front. Uh, four is the, got a lot of glare on there. Maybe I should turn that light down just a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Four is the transmission. Five is uh, some pulley box that go in the back. There's a big winch that sits in the back. And this is all part of that setup there. Um, six is putting the engine in the frame. I'm not even seeing. That's interesting. Oh, here, I guess this is the frame assembly. I'll have to look into this just a little bit more. That doesn't look like a very, like much information for the frame. Here's some more of the frame going here. So it's, that's kind of funny. They do cross members. I believe that's the front end of the frame. So they do the cross members in the front end and get the suspension and everything in. And then they go to the back and put the cross members and every Well, then they build up all this. And then they put the cross members and stuff in the back of the frame. And then they build up the suspension. I won't do it like that. 
I'll go ahead and get all the frame done and square and ready to go before I put any other parts on it. Here's the winch. It sits sideways underneath the the uh, fifth wheel, I guess you'd call it, in the back. Okay. And we're building up the cab. Full interior, lots of detail. That's going to be really nice. We've got windows and everything. And pedals, and then we've got uh, a PE instrument panel with uh, a set of decals for it. So that'll be really nice. Don't have to paint any gauges. And putting more of the cab together. The underside of the cab. This is going to be a really nice detailed kit. Okay, lots of pieces. The you know, some some kits you get, they just give you like a pre-molded hull. That's the the cab, and the, you know you don't get a lot of detail. This one, the whole cab is being built up of lots of different pieces. So the cab's finally going on the frame, and the steering is going in, and then we've got um, the hood and the exhaust, the windshield, some PE there, and then, let's see, that's 21. I guess this is 21, and this is all 22. Interesting the way they lay it out. There's a big gas tank there that I would put together very at the very beginning to get the seams and everything looking good. And then we're going to 23 and there's a photo etch basket that goes under this side that will be folding up. And then here's all of our sprues. So for the truck we have uh, some parts that are blacked out here. These, these here that are all in gray are not going to be used on the truck. But some of them will probably be used on the, the uh, trailer because it shares some parts. And here's our, here's our uh, clear parts here. It's not showing the photo etch on here. Okay. Let's move on here. I'll show you this real quick. There's the clear. I won't take it out of the bag. It looks really nice. Okay. And everybody's favorite photo etch. So we've got to bend anything getting it out of the bag. We got some pretty fine, like a silver thread for the winch. And here's another real fine one. Not sure what that's going to be for. And then we have some copper wire. And then we have, there's that photo etch basket. Then we have, that looks like that's, Oh, that's just the carrier a little bit, or the, the, the fret. So we've got four photo edge frets, not any of them any very big, and our decals. Okay, nice little set of decals. I'm not seeing a, a brand on them, or a date. They look really good though. Very thin. Okay. So we're going to put... fact is, I'm going to put that in something separate. I'm not going to leave that in there with that photo etch. We'll just... Yeah, we even got a photo etch fan. Okay. And this has got plastic on both sides. All these do. Lots of little straps and bits and pieces there. Plenty to do. Okay, I'll just
put this aside and I'll put them all in there. That wire is really, really malleable. Should be really easy to work with. So I'll put all that away in a bit. Let's look at some sprues. Okay. I've already cut the bags. Okay. Decide where I want to put these. This is A. Okay, we got the fenders. Here's the engine block. Looks like the hood. These are all really nice. I'm not seeing any flash anywhere. There's our, our uh, springs are in two pieces. So we'll have a seam down the center of them. But hopefully there won't be any sink. <clears throat> the fenders are really thin. Very thin plastic. So they'll look realistic. Uh, pieces of the winch I think. Okay. Very, very nice. Got some little rivet detail and everything. Okay. Try and keep as much in the bag as I can. Okay. <clears throat> Here's B. Okay, this is part of the winch here. Uh, looks like inner door panels, part of the uh, engine again there. And there's the cowl or the firewall. We've got some manifolds and looks like an oil pan. There's that big gas tank. And some springs. And they're halves again. So we'll have to glue the halves of the springs together and deal with a excuse me, deal with a, a seam, but we won't have to deal with a bunch of sink. Okay. Lots of very delicate parts. Well, I can get it back in there. There we go. Okay. This will be C. Okay, and the, I, I noticed right away that, see here's engine parts here. We had engine parts on the last two, so the parts are going to be spread out all over the place it looks like. It would be so nice if these manufacturers had put all the parts for one assembly on one sprue, but I, I guess that's not their thinking. Okay, yeah, they all look really crisp, really clear. I'm not seeing any flash anywhere. Should go together really nice. Okay. Okay. There's D. More engine parts. That looks part of the engine there. And this is that pulley system for the winch. More tiny, tiny parts. All kinds of little levers and linkages and things. Gonna really be nice. But there again, the parts are spread out over multiple sprues, so it's gonna take a little while to hunt everything up. Okay. And here's a big one. This is up. Go this way. This is E. We've got all of our tires and wheels. Okay. Some of these wheels and tires will be used on the trailer, some of them on the truck. They've got really big tires on them. I see just a little tiny little bit of sink right there. And they are marked Goodyear. 
13 5 by 20. Okay. That's the only one I see with just ever so tiny little bit of sink in it. Oh, there's another one there with a little in there. In there. So we do have some sink. It's where these big pins are. So we'll have to work at getting that out. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. And the next one is, and this is all just the tractor, we haven't even looked at the trailer yet. This is sprue, what is it, this is F. Okay, there's our frame rails, and there's more parts of the springs, halves, again. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. More springs. Some parts of the, some pulleys and stuff for the winch. That's the fifth wheel there. And parts of the differential. Have the differentials in two pieces. So there will be a seam there to deal with. Okay, lots of little rivet detail and that type of stuff. Really, really, some really fine uh, molding. Okay, and I think we have actually a couple more for the tractor still, for the Pioneer. Okay, here, there's the Sprue G. Okay. There's the floor, got lots of detail, it's wood grained. Okay, there's the cab. Of course it does have some sink marks in it. They're not terrible, but they are there, so I'll have to take care of those. Here's the, the back of the cab. It's got a little curtain in there, which doesn't look terribly realistic. This side looks better. All right, more little bits and pieces. Overall, it looks very nice. Okay. And one last. And this one is a common screw between the two kits. This is uh, H. This looks like pieces of transmission here. And we've got some brake drums. Uh, some little tow hooks. I'm not sure just what all these are. But we'll find out. Lots and lots of... Look how fine those are. Very, very fine little control rods and things. Yeah, that's going to be a nice detail when it's all done. And some springs here. Molded really nice. Sorry, you might be able to hear the neighborhood kids. They're out next door playing. Okay, that's it for the tractor or the Pioneer itself. I'm going to take a quick little break and when I come back I'll for you, it'll just be a second, and we'll uh, look at the parts for the trailer. Okay. Be right back, guys. Thank you. Okay, and I'm back. Um, this is the trailer, or I should say the um, trailer transporter. <laughs> it's 35207 and 35208 are the kit numbers. Um, as I mentioned before, there is an earlier kit of this, but I looked at the directions for both kits and they look slightly different. So I'll have to do some comparing as far as uh, paint color schemes and that type of stuff go. Anyway, this is uh, very similar. 
or almost identical, I should say, as the as the uh, Pioneer. Okay. Um, the major part of the frame is a rigid piece, so we're gluing frames to it. So it should be real easy to get uh, everything nice and square. Okay. So the first part of it is, is putting the frame together. Hang on a minute. Jordan wants some attention. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I think he's been uh, had enough attention for a little while. Holding for a few minutes. Here's the frame of the trailer and the wheels. Got to make up eight wheels just for the trailer because it's got double duels, uh, eight duels. Okay, and here's our suspension. We're attaching them, you know, the tires and everything, the brake drums, and then attaching that to the frame. Looks all fairly simple. Then we've got some ramps to build up. Step four. Not sure about colors. I guess it'll depend a lot on the scheme I end up choosing. And we've got some jacks that go underneath it. If you want to put it on a on the tractor, you can fold those up, or if you want them. You know, if you want to have it sitting by itself, you can put the jacks down. And we've got a big pulley there. Some fenders that will go on there. Okay, some really nice detail. Okay. And here's a box storage box that will go underneath the uh, the trailer up toward the front and build that all up. And yeah, here it talks about the jacks being up or down. Looks like they're basically hand pump hydraulic jacks, just very large. And there's a photo etch, uh, like a basket that will go underneath. And I'm not sure just what this is. I'm sure when we get to it, we'll be able to figure it out. There's some more PE that'll go underneath. Looks like it's made up a bunch of pieces. Might have to get the soldering iron out and get it going for that. Got to practice up on my soldering skills. It's been a little while since I've done any. Okay, and we got the ramps going on. The ramps can be either folded out flat or in the upright position like this. And you've got uh, ropes that go with it. That might be what those smaller uh, pieces of string are for in the, in the kit. Um, I would love to build a, like a real nice uh, mini art tank period correct for whatever I choose to put on the back of it. I might just have to do that one of these days. If anybody has any suggestions. Okay. And that's the end of that. Whoops, we got one more page here. There's there's a little more details for the ramp. It's got some real nice little uh, shackles and details for the, for the hooks. And there's a big pulley that goes on there to help pull tanks up on there when they're damaged or not running. That shows you how to rig it for towing a, a, a tank or a truck or whatever might be on it. Here's your sprue, call, uh, sprue uh, maps and you can see there's more parts that are grayed out so they won't be used. And that's the end of it. Okay, let's take a look at some plastic. This will be E. This is the common sprue that we already looked at. And this one I do see some sink marks in the tires. Just like in the other one. So that's going to take a little bit of work. There's another. Looks like it's, they're right in the, where these pins are on the back side. 
So that'll take a little bit of work. And they do say Goodyear on them. Some of them say Goodyear and some of them do not. 13 5 by 20s. Okay. This is another common sprue. Oh, I didn't get the bag completely open. This is H. We've already seen this too. It's got some really fine little parts. I'm not sure. I imagine this is, you know, the brakes, brake drums that will be used in common in some of these hooks and things. But like these transmission parts and things, I, it's, I think those are transmission parts. They won't be won't be used again so we'll have lots of spare stuff okay and this is J it looks like well that's some planks with wood graining on it I'm not sure just what they're for maybe for blocking a tank when it's on the trailer looks like suspension parts more really really delicate little pieces yeah this is going to be going to be a really nice kit when it's done a really nice model when it's done if any of you guys are you know have this or are thinking about getting it uh you know we can build along together i think that'd be a lot of fun i'm having a lot of fun with uh jason and peter and nigel and uh joe all building that GMC together. It's kind of fun to compare notes and see everybody's techniques. Uh, this is another duplicate of what we just saw. So I I don't need to show that one to you again. Okay, here's the... Bag snagging on me. Okay. This is K. There's our the main part of the the uh, trailer. And this is going to be all parts of the trailer. I'm not sure. That looks like parts of the loading ramp. There. I'm not sure what all this stuff is, but boy, there's some really finely molded parts. Look at all the little holes. If you can see those, every last one of those is drilled through. So you don't have to sit here for 10-15 minutes with a drill and go through and do all those. There's dozens of them already done. That seems like an awful lot of them. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. It does look like an excessive number of drill of holes. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it all comes together. I know how to fill holes if we need to. Okay. This will be sprue L. There's the sides of the frame. Both of them. So boy, that's a big, deep frame. It's got to be strong to hold a 30-ton tank. And then lots of little fine pieces there. Yeah, this is going to be really nice. I don't see any ejector pin holes or anything like that or marks so don't have to worry about cleaning all those up okay that's really nice I'll have the GMC done before too long I'm doing some detail painting and I've got to clear coat it and weather it and a few other things and uh, then I've got one other kit that I started that I kind of parked while I was working on that um, on the GMC I'm going to finish it and then this will be the next one up on the on the channel here's another piece of the I'm not sure if these pieces all sandwiched together there sure is an awful lot of holes okay and there's lots and lots of holes there too more pieces of the the front gooseneck part of the trailer the molding is really nice. Okay, 
really really nice I've got one other Thunder Models kit that I'm looking forward to build. I'll be doing that before too long. It's very similar to the GMC that I'm building right now. Okay, that's the last one. So, uh, one other thing real quick. And uh, this is for Jason at Model Kit Stuff. I do have another cam, uh, Scammel kit in my stash, and he had asked me about this. Uh, this is a, it's got to be at least 20 years old. It's a resin kit by Accurate Armor. Okay, it's basically the same vehicle, but all of it's in uh, resin and white metal. A friend of mine uh, a long time ago bought this. I, I know he paid $150 or better for it. He started it and he got discouraged real quick and he said, I'm done with it. If you want it, take it. So I have not worked on it. Um, the met white metal parts are in another box. There's all the instructions and there's all the resin, all the pieces there. I'll be reviewing this on the kit. So this, this should look the same as what we're doing. See, here's rails for the frames and everything. Here's, here's all he actually did. Okay, with just a little bit of the frame for the, for the tractor. Now, I'm not sure if there's anything missing. I don't really think there is. Look at all those resin parts. Okay, and lots and lots of wheels. That, that bag is really heavy. Oh, and we've got photo etch in there, too. That's a lot of resin right there. Okay, so I'll show you this a little bit more soon. And then uh, once I get the other Scammel kit under my belt and kind of get an idea of how, how it all goes together, I, I just might tackle this one. Okay, that's going to do it for right now, guys. Uh, Appreciate you watching. Um, you guys all have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay? Bye-bye.